ever pondered over the question, what if Napoleon had won the Battle of Waterloo? Well, it's a query that has intrigued historians and enthusiasts alike for over two centuries. The Battle of Waterloo, fought on a damp Sunday in June 1815, marked the final defeat of Napoleon Bonaparte, one of history's most celebrated yet controversial figures. This clash was more than just a military confrontation. It marked a watershed moment in European history, shaping the continent's geopolitical landscape for the next century and beyond. The defeat of Napoleon signaled the end of the French Empire's dominance, setting the stage for Britain's rise as a global power. But imagine just for a moment that the battle had swung the other way. What if Napoleon with his grand ambitions and tactical genius had won? So let's dive into the fascinating realm of what-ifs and explore the potential consequences had Napoleon emerged victorious. Imagine a Europe where Napoleon's ambitions were not quelled on the battlefield of Waterloo. With Napoleon's victory, the political landscape of Europe would have undergone a massive transformation. France, under Napoleon's rule, could have become the dominant power wielding its influence over the entire continent. The ripple effects of this dominance would have been far-reaching. Countries that were once adversaries might have been forced into alliances, forming a powerful bloc under French leadership. On the other hand, nations resisting this new order could have faced isolation or even annexation. In this altered reality, the balance of power would have shifted dramatically. The traditional powerhouses of Europe, like Britain and Prussia, might have found themselves playing catch-up to the French juggernaut. The rise of nationalism, which shaped much of 19th century Europe, might have been stifled under the weight of French supremacy. The map of Europe might have looked quite different from the one we are accustomed to. The ripples of Napoleon's victory would have extended beyond the borders of Europe. Let's imagine this alternative timeline. With Napoleon at the helm of a victorious France, colonialism might have taken a different turn. Perhaps the territories in Africa and Asia would have been under the French sphere of influence, not British. Revolutionary ideas of liberty, equality, and fraternity could have spread even more rapidly and had a profound impact on the world. The French Revolution's influence might have sparked more uprisings, leading to accelerated decolonization and democratic reforms worldwide. Moreover, the balance of power would have shifted. The ascendance of France could have disrupted the trajectory of wars leading to different alliances and conflicts. The 19th century might have seen a series of Franco-dominated wars instead of the Anglo-dominated ones. The world could have been an entirely different place, shaped by the force of Napoleon's ambitions. Fast forward to the present day, how would our lives be different if Napoleon had won? Imagine a world where the French language and culture dominate much of Europe, a ripple effect from Napoleon's victory. The political landscape could be entirely different, perhaps a unified European state under the banner of French governance, a lingering echo of the Napoleonic Empire. In the realm of social dynamics, we may witness a more uniform class system, a remnant of Napoleon's civil code that sought to abolish feudalism and promote equality. A global society infused with the ideals of the French Revolution, liberty, equality, brotherhood, might have been the norm. Culturally, we could be living in a world where French art, literature, and philosophy hold sway, their influence permeating through the corners of the globe, shaping our thoughts and perceptions. Our present reality as we know it might have been a chapter from an alternate history book. So, what does this exploration of an alternate timeline tell us? It tells us that history isn't simply a rigid set of events, it's a fluid, ever-changing tapestry woven by countless hands. Each thread represents a decision, a battle won or lost, a leader's rise or fall. Let's revisit the possibilities we've explored. If Napoleon had won at Waterloo, Europe may have been a vastly different place. The spread of French influence could have propelled the continent in a new direction, altering the balance of power and reshaping national boundaries. On a global scale, the ripples of this victory could have reached far and wide. The political, economic, and cultural landscapes of the present could be unrecognizable from what we know today. These speculations aren't just fascinating thought experiments, they're reminders of the fragile nature of history. History, as we know it, is a delicate weave of victories and defeats, and even the smallest change can unravel a completely different tapestry.